We use a drumline rigging to catch sharks. Our drum lines consist of about a 40 pound weight that sits on the seafloor. Off of this weight comes a hook timer that's attached to about 65 feet of 900 pound test monofilament. At the end of that monofilament, we have a 16 knot circle hook baited with either barracuda or tuna usually. Also off of the weight is about 30 feet of nylon rope that extends up to some bullet floats and a poly ball float at the surface. We have 10 of these drums deployed at a time. This drum is actually a dock piling cap that you might see at a marina, and it's filled with concrete and it weighs about 40 pounds. It's just a good solid base for us to attach our fishing gear to. Out of this weight comes an eye bolt that is attached to about 30 feet of nylon line, which connects to two pair of floats that sit at the surface. And we use these floats to mark where our fishing spot is and use it to very easily grab our fishing gear and haul it back out again. To connect the fishing line to the drum, there is a shackle that sits along the eye bolt of the drum. The shackle allows the line to move around the drum line. Therefore, any shark that's caught in the line can swim in 360 degrees around the system. This is very important for many of our shark species, as most of the sharks we catch are ram ventilators, which means that they need to keep swimming in order to breathe. This allows the sharks to keep up their swimming and to keep breathing while they're waiting for us to come back and pick up the line. Attached to that shackle is a hook timer, which is a pretty cool device that has a stopper in it where if enough force is applied, the stopper will pull out and there's a magnet that starts a timer. The stopper is usually pulled out by a large shark, so when we bring the drum back on board, we can check the timer to see how long the shark has actually been fighting on the line for, which gives us a really good idea of how much stress the shark is currently experiencing and whether or not we might need to eliminate certain parts of our processes or expedite our process to ensure the shark's safe release. Attached to the hook timer is our main fishing line. It is a 900 pound test monofilament, which is just regular single strand mono, but it's only as thick as a pencil instead of about as thick as a string. It is very strong, again, 900 pounds it takes to break it. And it's about 65 feet long and terminates in a circle hook at the end of the fishing line. The circle hooks are another key aspect of the animal welfare part of the drumline system. Circle hooks are different than jerry hooks because their barb bends inward, creating more of a circle-like shape. And this prevents foul hooking, at least more so than in a jay hook. If a shark were to swallow an entire piece of bait, including the hook, in a jay hook it might get caught up in the shark's stomach or in its throat as the line is pulled back out, but the circle hook will slide right back up the shark's digestive tract and end up sitting and hooking in the corner of its jaw where it's very easy for us to remove it. These hooks are also meant for tuna and swordfish longline fishing, and they're meant to prevent shark bycatch for those fisheries. So if a large enough shark is caught on it, they can actually bend the hook if they apply enough force and pull it right out of their mouths very easily. These hooks can also rust after about a week of exposure to the water. 99% of the time, we get the entire hook out of the shark. But if there is some remains, it'll rust out within a week or two.